My name is Brad Qualley, Q-U-A-L-L-E-Y. I'm the police commander over here in District 4. Uh, I love having the opportunity to talk about the events that we uh, have happening out here at Cinco de Mayo uh, for the 5th, 6th, and 7th around Federal Boulevard and in some of our neighborhoods. I want to speak a little bit about what's going on out here in Southwest Denver in District 4 and then also some of the plans that we have on Federal Boulevard for those three days. Um, we do have some uh, different celebrations happening throughout the city, but specifically here in Southwest Denver, we have an, uh, an event taking place on Morrison Road, right around Morrison and Mead on Saturday from noon to six. But we also have our typical uh, Cinco celebrations that transpire up and down the Federal, uh, uh, Federal Boulevard uh, from the 5th, 6th, and 7th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So with that, we end up uh, staffing appropriately to be able to help with some of the concerns that we have that bring up large gatherings. Uh, typically and historically out here on Federal Boulevard, um, we have large gatherings of both pedestrians and also vehicle traffic that, uh, that take place out here on Federal Boulevard. It usually hap uh, the usual traffic flow starts from about Evans all the way up to 6th Ave. Um, so we have a plan of, of having extra officers here to provide a safe atmosphere for that. You will notice that we've just started putting out messaging boards this week about lane restrictions and why we have those lane restrictions on Federal Boulevard. Uh, a short time ago, there was medians put up on Federal Boulevard, which made it hard once we had large volumes of traffic for emergency personnel to be for fire, police, or ambulance services to be able to travel up and down Federal Boulevard. So with that, we came up with lane restrictions that we've been using now for a few years, and they've really, really helped be able to uh, allow folks to enjoy the celebrations out here on Federal but also to be able to have uh, the ability to serve the neighborhoods with emergency personnel if needed. With that, starting on, on Friday um, and throughout the whole entire weekend, you'll start to see lane restrictions taking place right around that 4, 4.30. We'll start setting up the cones and they'll go all the way up here to 6th Ave. I'll have extra officers staffed throughout the city to be able to help with those festivities, to be able to uh, pre uh, uh, provide the best safe environment that we can out here for the large amount of pedestrian traffic and vehicle traffic. But then we'll also have enough personnel staffed for the district to, to handle just routine police calls for service. Um, this event, we're looking for great weather, which I'm excited about. This event, we've all, I've been out here for quite some time, and this event brings on a lot of people. What we ask is for those that do come to this area to be patient. There's going to be a lot of traffic congestion. There's going to be a lot of people in the parking lots. There's going to be a lot of people just, just using this Federal Boulevard. Um, with that, um, we are asking our officers to be very mindful of resident needs. Um, folks that live in the neighborhood that got to get back and forth. Having lane restrictions creates some, some, bar some barriers and some obstacles for those folks. So my officers, officers will work with being able to get them back and forth as much as possible into their neighborhoods with as least disruption as possible. We do ask our officers to, uh, when they're out there on federal during this, uh, 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 during this celebration, to really be mindful of flagrant violations, things that are a hazard to the public, um, things that are gonna put people in, in jeopardy. And those would be like careless driving, um, driving under the influence, racing, things like that we will strictly enforce. Um, those are not tolerable up here on the federal corridor or anywhere. And we wanna make sure that by having officers be mindful of those and work through those types of infractions, that we uh, provide the safest atmosphere that we can for the folks that are in the parking lots and also driving in their vehicles or walking up and down the Federal Boulevard. Uh, with that, I have, if you have any other questions, um, I can talk a little bit about our, our plan for our three different phases of plan, but if you have any questions before I get into that, anything? Is there any one thing that you guys are concerned about in single the miles or one particular thing that concerns you? You know, typically I've been doing this for quite some time out here in Cinco de Mayo, and, and my concern is always the safety in the in the parking lots and directly up and down Federal with the large amount of traffic uh, with people doing rec driving recklessly. So that is our biggest concern, is reckless driving or reckless behavior with the vehicles. So that's one of the biggest ones. What tips do you have for the, for the drivers and also for the pedestrians that are going to be watching? 
The tips that I would have is just be very patient. We've messaged out now through our constituents with council, also having you folks here today, is that we do have quite a few people that will enjoy this celebration. What I would ask is people to be patient, be mindful in the parking lots, be mindful out on the street. Um, they will still be able to, to use crosswalks, but uh, uh, people making sure that they're utilizing the crosswalks and not trying to cut through traffic. Uh, be mindful of the different emergency personnel. Um, if you are part of the ones that are taking part of the festivities and cruising or you happen to be up on federal, um, if personnel are like the fire department or us coming through, that we need to get to that emergency lane providing that safe environment. You know, I don't remember what we had last year. Typically, we don't have a lot of arrests. Our, our goal is to provide the safest atmosphere, but also educate. We, we issue a lot of warnings. We try to get in front of it before people start doing things that could get them in trouble. So if we end up having large groups and they're staging up their cars, we'll go up and talk to them and say, guys, we're not doing that here. We are making sure that we're providing that safe environment. So I don't have the exact numbers on that, sir. So our three phases that we have, we have tip, three phases for uh, this operation. The first one is just normal traffic. Uh, normal traffic being that we will have the lane restrictions out there. Uh, the curb or the median side is where we'll be for um, emergency personnel. And then the outside lanes will be for just regular thoroughfare traffic north and southbound. Phase two is we have, well, you'll see that we'll have barricades at all the different intersections, even include all the side streets. We will put those up if we start getting a lot of spillover into the neighborhoods. We also uh, understand some of the concerns with some of the residents that live up in the area about the large amount of traffic that could come off of federal and go into the neighborhoods. So if we start seeing that, um, we will barricade some of the side streets and then let normal traffic flow. And then let normal traffic flow north and south. Uh, that's a, a periodic on, on our phase two when we pull down barricades or put them back up. And phase three is when we end up putting barricades up on all the different uh, intersections all the way from Florida north all the way to 6th Ave and do a diversion onto 6th Ave to get the traffic off of federal for the short time being and, and alleviate some of the pressures that it, it takes place in some of the neighborhoods. So those are our three different phases. Anything else? I do appreciate everybody coming out here and pushing out the message for all the residents that are going to be coming here. Oh, sir, did you have a question? I'm sorry. Yeah, will this just be for the Cinco de Mayo or will this be for the entire weekend? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, sir. Will this be for Cinco de Mayo or the entire weekend? It'll, will you guys be doing this? We'll be doing it for the 5th, 6th, and 7th. Yes. And I guess just to make sure, from Florida to 6th Avenue and after that you're going to divert traffic on to 6th Avenue? Yes, sir. Yeah, if we have to get to phase three. Uh, it's very rare that we have to do that, but it is one of our options should we need to do that. All right. Well, now that it's completely quiet with no traffic, <laughs> I, I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you for helping us press, uh, spread this message for everybody, and I appreciate it. Thank you.